Hi, Mark here. It is officially 2013. It's January 4th or something pretty close to that, I think. Um, and what brings me here today is to show you off my new uh, hooded sweatshirt. Uh, it has nice fleece lining. There's lining in the sleeves. It's very, very warm. Embroidered there. Embroidered in the back. Actually, it has nothing to do with this jacket, but I, I'm glad I have it because it's about 40, 45 degrees in California today, which is really, really cold you know, for us. You know, and it'll warm up to only 68 just terrible weather you know clear as a bell out there actually it's pretty nice looking probably some halibut being caught today in any event the reason i'm here we have a new tackle bag supplier yep you know, over the last two three years we've seen some wonderful companies go away first there was albacore then wfo and then the folks at open water that are part of a bigger company gave up the ghost it has been tough on tackle storage you know, but Kind of like one of our favorite companies, which is SKB, where the owner bought himself a boat, didn't like anything else that was on the market, and so he came out with his own group of products, which we ought to do a video on sometime. Now, there's another company out there, which is part of a much bigger firm in the tool trade. Uh, they make you know, professional tackle you know, bags for the guys in the construction industry. They know how to make a bag that holds a lot of weight, and they're well-funded. They're a multi-million dollar company, and, you know, they like to fish and they didn't like what was on the market. They saw an opening, they have the ability to produce it and so doggone it, they did. Um, the owner, I first met one of the owners, oh gosh, three, four years ago, um, stopped by the shop then I visited with him at the Fred Hall show and, and he said, you know, what he was working on but he wasn't specific and then finally I was surprised that I cast. They had a big booth full of their product. It was like, you know, let's, let's get this together whenever you guys are good to go. And so they dropped over here oh, a couple of months ago, showed me what they had, and I was pretty well jazzed too. Um, unusual products. Uh, you can tell the guys are pretty creative. Quality is top drawer. The value is very, very strong. They are not inexpensive bags. I'll tell you that on the front side. They're fairly expensive, but they're done right, and they've got the right features. Um, I'll start with one of the simpler ones. with the Oh, the company name is Wild River. Tackle Tech uh, would be the trade name. Yeah, under which uh, a lot of these products are coming. Old school item, fishing bucket, right? Fishing bucket, a lot of the guys would customize. Well, now the job's already done for you. Plenty of pockets, plenty of storage, even has a couple of rod holders. Yep, rod holders on the side here. We're going to stick the rod in here. You got a strap up there. Uh, pouches all over the place, place for tools. Yeah, it just, it, it's a well thought out idea. And like all their, their uh, products, they're available a couple or three different ways in this case. Usually they're available with or without the boxes. Uh, typically, you know, typical Plano 3500, 3600, 3700 size boxes will fit. This one is available three ways. It can either just be, excuse me for a moment, I'll drop down. Yeah. It can either just be the bag material itself, or it can come with the Plano boxes uh, and some accessories. Or it can be fully dressed, including a bucket with a lid. You know, there's a place in here for an aerator. You know, <laughs> so with an aerator, a little bit of, of tubing, now you've got a live well, portable live well. For somebody doing surf fishing, which we do a lot of out here, you know, this is a wonderful thing. You know, and it has a lot of applications. And bring along a toilet seat, you've got a portable potty. Um, the bucket is something that's it's kind of cool. Uh, and not crazy in terms of price, uh, but... You know, it, it is well done. They also make a small bag. Um, and this uses the little 3,500 size Plano bo boxes. It has four of them it comes with. Dandy, I could probably get away two or three days on something like this. Yeah, you know, at least one day, you know, perfect for that type of use. Yeah, you know, you've got lots of little, um, well, what do you call these things? Uh, the tactical, you know, clippity deals. It has those things. Uh, it has an open, you know, uh, pocket up here that's clear so you can see what's going on. If you have your license up there, for instance, um, storage here. And it also has a light, an LED light on a flexible arm so you can position that over your tackle. You can position it over so you can do some rigging. Well thought out. You know, well thought out. It even comes with a doggone battery. So what can you ask for there? Having a light kind of extends your day's fishing, uh, in my book. Um, stores nicely. You know, it's it's well produced, see-through pockets as well as the enclosed. You know, it's it's just it's a well thought out piece. You've got a shoulder strap. The strap can also be you know tucked away on the inside here, so it's out of the way. Uh, you can strap this 
over your shoulder. You can strap it around your waist. It's a convertible uh, bag, they call it. It is convertible. Uh, you even have a plier uh, holder up here, as well as a little you know, drawstring retractable lanyard uh, clip up here. You can put a pair of fingernail clippers with to clip your line. That's the small one. They work up from there. They have two backpacks in the line. This is the smallest of the two. This one again uses the smaller 3500 size Plano boxes. They're secured inside. It'll hold four here. Um, plenty of storage. You've got another storage pouch here that would be good for, say, a pair of sunglasses or something else. Yeah, really, really nicely laid out pieces. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite pleased with what they did. Kind of fun to watch a company that's kind of starting with an idea and then brings her on the market. Again, lots of side storage, the open mesh so you can see what's going on. A pouch up here, you can put a cell phone or whatever in. Again, it has another little pouch on the inside. A lot of storage. And then it has this gizmo, which we have on several other bags. This is an LED light. It's battery operated. Um, you know, nice feature again for your rigging. There it is, it pops up so you can go ahead and direct it downwards to do your rigging. And there is a recess, there's a hole here. This hole goes inside of the bag. So now I've got light on the inside so I can see what the heck I've got down here. Wonderful for nighttime fishing. Again, it extends to your fishing hours. It's well padded on the back side and the straps and the bottom like their other bags all are made, you know, and no, they're going to be sitting here on the bottom and they'll have some weight in them. So you've got some rubber pads down here as well as the heavier material. Very, very well thought out in the small size. Real useful. They take that up one notch. This bag would hold the 3700 size Plano boxes. Again, it'll hold four of them here. Plenty of storage. You have much additional storage. You even have the sunglass storage here on the top side that's protected. So you're not doing a lanyard like this and breaking lenses, which I seem to do about every two months. And again, you've got the light here with the recess opening so you can see inside the tackle bag itself. Plenty of room. I mean, this this will last you quite well <laughs> on a fishing trip. Well designed, lots of pockets, lots of storage. Again, we've got the plier pouch and, and the retractable lanyard. Um, really pretty cool. Oh, I, I don't even remember what these things are called. It's a carabiner. Of course it's a carabiner. So you've got a carabiner clip. You've got the batteries for the uh, uh, light as well which all of their bags do. Moving up one notch, let's say you want to carry a 3700 size Plano box. This is the big one. Again, with the big metal handle on the top side because we know something that's going to carry the 3700 size boxes, chances are it's going to have some weight to it. And it's made to deal with that. So we've got storage for one, two, three, four, five of the big Plano boxes. I'm going to strap to keep them where they belong. Lots of side pockets for storage. The light on this one rotates a little bit differently. Um, on this piece, you've got the lights in front. You can direct the lights downward. You can direct them upward. You can do whatever you'd like to as far as the light itself. You can move the handle back out of the way. Go on the inside. And now on the inside, you'll see a shoulder strap here on the side over here. But you've got some dividers. You can configure your reels in there if you felt like it. Now, or other storage items. It's all padded. Nicely, nicely done. And then we've got one more product from these guys. I'll show you here in just a second. Okay, the next box uh, from Wild River is the Rogue. And the Rogue is a, is a full-size box. It's a bag style. Okay, we've got zippered storage on the top. Inside, we have four of the big 3700 size boxes. The thing has an awful lot of storage capability. Um, as well as, like everything else from this company, some unique features. Um, but in terms of storage, yes, you've got side storage back here. You can stick something else through here. You've got another pouch here. In the back side, you've got storage. This storage in the back would probably hold two 3,500, or no, excuse me, two 3,600 size Plano boxes. Um, you know, it, it can hold a ton of gear. Reinforced on the bottom, again on the side. We've got our plier pouch down here, lanyard. Sunglass case back here, another big pouch, and then on the front side, we have something kind of unique. 
iPhone. We got tunes. We got water resistant speakers. This thing is powered um, with D cell batteries, which are not included, or it comes with a cigarette lighter adapter, or you can go ahead and power it off of AC. You know, so it's got a converter for it. So the thing is multifaceted. Kind of nice to be able to watch some tunes or you know, listen to a ball game when you're out fishing. This box would get that one accomplished. Water resistant, very, very durable. And let's say it's going to rain. Well, these guys have thought of that one too. Um, it has a rain fly. It's built in. Now, the backpacks also feature a rain fly. Nicely thought out, nicely executed products. Yes, I think it deserves an applause. Um, so, okay, so that is Wild River, uh, the Tackle Tech products, new company for 2013. These guys are going to be around for quite a while. This is a small part of their business. It's not something that they are totally dependent upon to feed the family, uh, so they can afford to stick around here for a while. So we have several different bags, probably six, seven different products going ranging all the way from the bucket <laughs> style uh, to a little one day, three quarter day, half day, or, or if you're like me, probably two or three days uh, in a small bag. Two wonderful backpacks, both with rain flies, a big 3700 style box with a metal lid. All those items have lights available for them. Um, and then you've got the big rogue that gives you some tunes. Ain't half bad. Now I'm going to caution you, when you do place an order for these items, you want to be a little bit careful because they're available a few different ways. You can get all the tackle boxes with or without uh, the Plano trays. So if you want to save 20 or 30 bucks, that's one way to sure do it. Uh, you may already have those trays. So you don't have to buy the trays along with them, you can save some money. In the case of the bucket, there are three different ways to get it. You can get it just, just the material itself. You can get it with uh, the accessory products. And you can get it with a bucket and a seat, doggone it. We give you everything except for the toilet seat. Now, and that's it. So the company is Wild River Tackle Tech is the trade name. And you'll see them here first. Thank you for watching. We'll get back to you with some more new gear this year. Mark out.